Here we are going to talk about Kazimir Malevich and suprematism, the shortcoming to constructivism. Over the past centuries, artists have been looking for ways to perceive the true meaning of art. Each form is taken to different extents through various artists based on what they believe holds the greatest meaning. During the time around 1890 to 1930, Darshan Avgards, or people introducing new and unusual experimental ideas, flourished the era of modern art in the Russian Empire and even the Soviet Union afterwards. Between these years was the rise of a new form of art known as suprematism. This modern art movement began during the First World War by Kazimir Malevich in 1913. According to the Art Story website, the first use of suprematist art was hinted in costume sketches that Kazimir Malevich designed in 1913 for Victory Over the Sun, a futurist opera performed in St. Petersburg. However, it was not until 1915, during the last Futurist exhibition of painting, 010, where he held the first suprematist exhibition in St. Petersburg, with his 35 works of art. According to Michael Prater, the art historian and senior research fellow at the University of Buckingham, his most important art piece was hung high in the corner of the gallery, just below the ceiling where Russian homes usually reserved for an icon. This piece was Malvich's Black Square, which he said, according to Podger, marks the end of traditional art. Malvich was a man that wanted to go beyond the scope of reality. The white surrounding the square in this piece is a symbol of infinity, or the beyond. In suprematism, the use of color and space is often crucial, according to the Tate organization, by the words of Malvich himself to free art from the dead weight of the real world. But this may come off as a confusion due to the title of the square itself. The title is the black square, and the painting is of a black square. However, look closely into the square. There are many beautiful shapes and colors inside it. This marks the basis of suprematism and hints at the ideas of cubism. This painting was the highlight of the last futurist exhibition of painting 0, 10, where the number 0 signifies the start of a new beginning. A beginning where Malevich explores a different reality, untethered to the one we live in. Malevich had a pretty difficult time trying to gain supporters of his new form of art, according to Alexandra Shatsky, an art historian and authority of the Russian avant-garde. Shatsky wrote her book called Black Square, Malvich and the Origin of Suprematism, where she mentions how Malvich succeeded in attracting women artists to his cause, forming the Supremacist Society in 1917. This is a historical breakthrough in art since this is well before the eruption of the women's rights movements, which were around the 1960s. Other than the attraction of women in art, there weren't many supporters of this movement. Because of this, suprematism began to fade out to a rise of new and more realistic art. Tying in the ideas of suprematism and combining it with ideas of cubism and futurism, the rise of the last Russian avant-garde movement began to incline. This movement, known as constructivism, used industrial materials to make constructions rather than art objects. It was a movement in favor of real-world object abstraction rather than pure abstraction. Take a look at this sculpture, for example. This piece, known as Guitar, was created by Pablo Picasso in 1914. As can be clearly seen by the triangle piece at the top, there is a still a use of geometric shapes. Even though this sculpture clearly represents a guitar, it seems to be inverted semiotically without actually making the real thing. It can be seen that the right side is smaller than the left and coming out more as if it were meant to be viewed from the side. According to the Museum of Modern Art, Picasso did this as a structural experimentation in his work. This use of abstraction to represent reality is the reason constructivism overshadowed the short-lived prosperity of suprematism. Through the progression of history in the overthrow of Russia by the Soviet Union, the Russian avant-garde continually spread its messages through different forms. The futurist and cubist movements assisted in the birth of suprematist art, yet suprematism rolls away from other forms of art as a form of anarchy or revolt. Even though it has different reasons for its being, 
constructivism still uses key figures seen in suprematism, such as the use of abstract shapes, but differs by actually using a form of reality. Thank you for watching my video.